Open your mind and heart. It is now time to tell his tale. So that it is never forgotten. What do we do? Let's follow them or not. And do what they say. They mustn't recognize us. Yes, come on. All right, guys, welcome back to a Plague Tale Requiem. We are now in the mountain and we are blended in oh. with whatever's about to happen. Amicia. Centuries ago, a child was born on this land. His heart was blessed by the sun, from which he inherited the flame that rules everything. And so was born the child of fire. What? His flame shone over the world. He blessed it with his perfume, his laughter, his joy. Of all places, Lacuna was his home. It became a land of life and peace. A place to heal, to thrive. Lacuna became a cradle of light. But light tempts evil. And evil knows no mercy. Come. I still think that kid is... A child is... on a throne, in an order temple. Mm. It's him, the child of embers. You're Take the child of embers. Look, the drawing. It's the carrier of the macula. That fresco was in Mother's laboratory at home. Please kneel. Evil found the child inside these very halls. It fed on his fire, weakened it, marked his flesh with coal black scars. His mother's arms couldn't warm him anymore. And so his light faded, almost entirely. And the child of fire turned into the child of embers. Lord. A dark era began. Men forgot about him, but we did not. This flame is the last gleam of his light. Our hope, and now two of you, a woman and a child, will carry it through his night. You, your heads are bent. Your humility honors you. You will walk his flame through his darkest hours. Take it. Oh. Why us? <clears throat> Why us first? You will walk in his steps. Know the cold that bites the flesh. The drowning in the absence of light. The uncertainty. You will see the child die through the eyes of his mother. You will be the victim and the witness. Keep that torch alive at all costs. The carriers have been chosen. Take your places. What do we do? Wait, are, we we're not to here to off. sacrifice the That's kids, Zoe. Cross. Go forth and bring him the light. Much depends on it. Okay. This is unreal. Those frescoes. The plague. It's cold. They think it was caused by the child's death. So they don't have a macula? I don't think so. They interpreted all this. They made a god out of the carrier of the macula. Amicia, the water will put out the torch. I think it's part of their ritual. Drowning in the absence of light. glow in the dark. Wait. I am the mother, and I welcome him. Imagine if it's his Pass real mum. 
Imagine if he's. You did well. The child must rise again. Hear me, child. I am not barren anymore, for your flame lives in me. I am the mother. Become the phoenix. The child of fire reborn. Join us. Blow on these flames. <gasps> Strange, weird ass people. Oh. <laughs> the bird again. This is unbelievable. No kidding. There's no child of embers. I told you about the order. This place belonged to them. And this child on the frescoes? It's the carrier of the Prima Macula. The Prima Macula. This just gets better and better. Alchemists call it the first corruption. It awoke in Hugo's blood when he was a baby. It keeps growing inside him. And it's killing him. That's what this whole place is about. The advent of a carrier of the macula. The order gathering around him, studying him, trying to find a solution. And uh, rats. Let me guess. Death, war, disease, and famine. Not only. The rats are... Anyway, they got it all wrong. There's no child of embers that will come and save the world. It's a fantasy they crafted to fit their hopes. All of it sounds like a crazy fantasy to me. Part of it is true. The part that can save him. The only part that matters. Basilius and Aelia. Nothing's changed. Water's not magic. The water? Oh, from the healing pond in your dream. It's like a symbol. Like mother's alchemic drawings. Stagnating water is rarely magic. Hey, come see. That's his throne. And this, I think, is his name. Basil? He was a carrier just like you. You're not the only one. That's why you dreamt of all this. Something called you here, and for a good reason. I mean, look at this place. If there's a cure, it has to be here. And who is Aelia? It looks like there is more to this place behind here. His mother or his sister? Let's keep looking. A guardian? Come. 
I'm sure there are extraordinary things waiting. <laughs> What's all this? Are we the first to come in here? Oh, a tent! You're right. Oh. It looks untouched. Too sacred for them, maybe? This is like... It reminds me of his bedroom when he was uh, at hey, the uh, do you know who's Daruna State in the first it one. It is! It's Basilius' room. Just imagine. He was living here. Playing here. Sitting where you sit. Isn't that astonishing? Yes! And he loved tents, just like you. You love tents? Me too. He had a phoenix. Yes. Maybe he dreamt the same dream as you. Let's see what else he left us. Look. That's a lovely horse. It's your size. Pretty sure he was your age. Yes. So that was his bed. It's beautiful. This Basilius was treated like a king. Maybe he was a king. King Basilius. <laughs> Look at that. Hmm. They're people. Important ones, maybe? Prophets? Are there prophets in the order? They're villains. I think he shot at them with this ball here. <laughs> Makes sense. Boys. I like this game too. Come, we've barely started. There's too many coincidences. Wow. That's a warrior's room. Not just any warrior. Look at the shape of the armor. What of it? It's a lady's armor. Oh, Aelia. This is her room, of course. She was his protector. Protector? The carrier's personal guard. Like me for Hugo. She looks strong. This is way too coincidental. It's like Toys. He was History's repeating to itself. Her. And she let him. She was the best kind of knight. I would have loved to meet them. Look, wax tablets. They're carved. He drew her. And there, he drew himself with her. He loved her. It looks like they spent a lot of time together. Just like us. This is so strange. It is. Let's keep on. We're too strange. This is crazy. I feel like, like I know them. Like Basil could have been my friend. I know what you mean. Oh, look. Huh, that bird again. Its shape, it's the Order's symbol. The Phoenix is the Order. It's just that. Um, sorry, boy. But no. That explains why it stands above the child on their frescoes. They thought they were better than him. They didn't care about him. It doesn't change why we're here. Come, let's finish this first, right? Damn. Hmm. So many answers. But then still so many questions. I'll be damned. What's this now? An alchemy laboratory. Can we go back now? But it looks exactly like what you're searching for, no? Yes, but... <laughs> no, you're Whoa. right. Look for anything that could lead to an elixir. A, a potion, like books, drawings, maybe raw materials. On it. Why is there a table with shackles on it? That. Oh, I don't even know what it's used for. Come on, give we me something. We need Lucas. There's nothing much. Oh. A phoenix. 
Look for a phoenix. What were they making in these things? Lord, give me something, please. This is all centuries old. What do you expect? Empty. No! What the hell? Hey! Quieter. We'll find something. Uh, sorry. Lucas would know. He would. Hugo, this is all useless. Please, I need something. Um, I think the little one needs you, Amicia. Yes. And Athanor. <sighs> no. Whatever's been oh. cooked in there is long He's gone. at the bloody table. This place is crazy. Hey. Something's wrong? I'm sure they hurt him, too. Hey. I know things aren't turning out the way you expected, but... Nothing ever changes, Amicia. But Aelia wouldn't let them hurt him, right? You... You let for done? No! I... I tried to stop it, but... I, I know. You tried. Sorry. Hey, come here, you two. Sophia, where are you? Upstairs. How did you get there? Look behind the curtains. And the curtains. Oh, these curtains. Come on, Hugo. <clears throat> what is this? No door. Some sort of uh, observation hallway? What have you found? Your alchemist library. Looks like they were observing the child from here. Like you oh said, Cage. We're right above the laboratory table. It's wrong. Imagine these bastards standing there, looking at him. We have to focus on what they learned. Okay, this is just getting have a lead. weird and freaky. Have you mentioned of a kill? No, but they took other notes. What is it? Your alchemists wrote down everything that happened to the carrier. It's sorted by date. The last entry was in the year 541. 541? What does it say? I haven't studied Latin since the convent, but it talks about Basilius. And, uh, um, Aelia Dragus, his protector. It really did all happen. They were just like us. What happened to them? The Order took away the carrier from her. She rebelled and was arrested close to a round tower. They took her to a, a, a capella, a, a chapel, inside a fort. And Basilius, where is he? It doesn't say. Well, we have something to go on. A fort, a round tower. Hmm. They're coming. We're lucky they didn't come sooner. Yes, let's get out of here fast. Just to think, Hugo, you put your hands in there. What's going on with my phone right now? Risky, but the water will help. Let's try. The water. Oh god, they're having a bath. Time to sneak, <laughs> sneak time. So a round tower. Careful, it's a big cap. May this putrid water seal our determination. To stand by your side, day and night. I feel your sickness. I share your pain. We will protect you. 
We will care for you. I am the father. I am waiting for you. I am the mother. I am waiting for you. Join us. Whenever you feel ready, we are. When they were saying all that in the pool, I was expecting them to like turn towards us and go, come with us, Hugo. Kind of weird <sighs> witchcraft things. Spend a full week at sea with my crew. Changes your notion of stench forever. That was enough for me. Let's go to that fort. Hugo? There was no fort in my dream. Maybe. But mm. your dream put us on the right track. Look at all we've learned. Now we just have to find out the rest. Don't you want to know what happened to that alia? And your... Ancestor. It's going to be all right. I'm curious to see if we're on the same path as the uh, them two. Um, like if everything's can just. Can we take one. these stinky clothes off now? <laughs> yes, <laughs> we should. Here's a point. Here's a very good point. But yeah, it's like. I don't know if like everything is coming around in full circle or they've just stumbled across it. Well, chapter 10, Bloodline. All right, like nothing happened. That's very well hidden. We're good. Especially you, you're the sneakiest child I've ever met. <laughs> look, if there's no fort in your dream, then we'll look for the round tower, all right? All right. And maybe they decorated the island even more. Maybe we already saw the round tower in the center of town where that um, party was, a little carnival. So, that was... I don't even know what that was. Me neither. But we have a lead. Pragmatic. I like that. Why not check that map again? Unless you know where that tower is? <sighs> Why not? That was quite something. But I still can't believe you went to a convent. My mother came from a wealthy family. They weren't exactly pleased when they found out my father was a smuggler. So off to a convent I went to cleanse me of his sins. It wasn't very effective, it seems. I'd rather be a sinner and be free. So, I escaped, I joined my father, and... We must be careful. If my dream was wrong, 
More things can be wrong. Hey, look around you. It's fine. We're centuries later, right? She's right. We're with you. He does have a point. She said something about a map. Souvenirs. Maybe we don't. Do you know when you normally can anticipate what might happen? I I don't have the foggiest of what could happen now. Like I was expecting something to happen. On this brighter day, we celebrate the child of embers with our life, our joy, and the unity of the bond we all share with the mother. May the light of our souls wake the child from his deep slumber. May it lead him to our countess, brightest among the brightest souls and make her heart complete. This may be the first day of a new era. Celebrate it, and may this night be brighter than your day. Plants to decorate or to cure. Yeah, Strong. as I was saying, it's like, <laughs> like you can normally anticipate sword. what's gonna happen, but like, I expected something to happen when we avoided the little ritual thing. Thought it was gonna get caught, run into somebody. We found out a, a great deal of lore. Now it's just a matter of. Here we are. Looks like the real festivities have begun. Let's pass through here. It'll be nice. They still look happy. This is the same people that was chanting before. The ritual. Blessed be the child. Blessed be the mother. Blessed be the days when he'll come back. Look at them. They sure know how to celebrate. What if they knew the truth? They don't need it. And we don't need them to know. I wish I was like them. You just need to bounce back from this. How do you do that? You... Uh, think of something else. dies, Hugo. Visions of it traveled through your dream, didn't they? And that sanctuary still had a lot to tell. <sighs> we'll find something in that chapel. Almost there. Hugo, wait. Would my knight conquer that tower for me? What? I want to see how you charge it. Claim it for me. Go. Yes. Oh. Stay in sight. Yes. Thanks. Why would you encourage him it's right a bit now? It's hard for him. I... I wanted to ask you. Are you sure about all this? It seems like a heavy burden for him. I know. And it is. That's why we're doing this. Listen, we may not know each other well, but... You're chasing ghosts. Ghosts that scare him. We've gone through hell, Sophia. You can't imagine. I can't. The question is, does he need more? We have nothing else. I believe you. Fine. The thing is as well, Amicia will kill herself for Hugo. 
You're so slow. Hey, be nice to old people. You're not that old. So is that tower ours yet? No, the door is locked. <sighs> locked from the other side. Time to take a little look around. Yep. <clears throat> Here. So looks like we're conquering. I didn't tell you, but Hugo is king. And I'm captain of his guard. So you'll rule this thing. But you can be my smuggler. A royal contract. <sighs> I'm honored. Don't forget we still have a real fort to conquer. Ah, oh, right. The fort and its chapel. I wanna guess we can shoot through them, I am boys. Oh, actually, hold on. Follow me. Be careful, Hugo. Oh, we can get it through there, though. Careful with the drop here. All right. Sounds like something was about to break. I think that's it. Ready to go? Yes. Let's get going. Why did it give me the option there? Like, would you like to go? I'm guessing maybe we can look around this whole place. There it is. Let's hope this fort isn't as crowded as their sanctuary. It surely doesn't sound as appealing. I don't think the Count and Countess dug into the Order's writings. They must have considered the place too sacred. There is only one way to find out. Yes. Let's move. There's always one, one way to find out. Getting into trouble with new enough dying and running and running away from rats. That's what it usually falls back to. What's going on? There's a storm coming. How can you tell? Trust me. He's sad. All this because of a dream. When's the last time a dream meant everything to you? The day I stopped being a child. That's a pretty flower. You want it? Of course. Hmm. There was a time when I was the one getting the flower. Time passes, sweetheart. They grow up. All right. Let's get to this fort. Quickly. We could stay here. I like it here. Staying here won't help you, Hugo. We must move. Plus, there's a storm coming. <laughs> right. So, Hugo, you ever offered a flower to a lady your age? No. I prefer feathers now. Ah, moving on to something more exciting. Flowers, feathers... Feathers are better. Why? Because they make you fly. I get it. Well, don't fly away right now, please. Time we head to this fort. This place is gorgeous around here, though. Beautiful. 